oh my god hello i'm not gonna edit this video so sorry it's gonna be real boring for most of you but i don't have time to edit a video but i want to get a vlog up because i want you guys to see what i've been up to and why i've been gone from the internet for a bit um i haven't been posting obviously because this is my house right now okay just look at the mayhem that is my home right now okay like there's a lot going on we're prepping for the new show my netflix special comes out june 4th and so that's the old show that's like a lot of moments from my old shows that i've done over the last 10 years and this show is completely new <sighs> i'm really nervous about it i'm really excited so um the first show is in pomona on Sunday, uh, which will probably be tomorrow when you watch this. And then uh, I have shows in Sacramento, San Jose, Phoenix, Tucson, Salt Lake City after that. And then hopefully I'll do a big tour later this year if these go well, but like this has been our life. Like we haven't slept in weeks, so that's what I've been working on. And right now I'm about to film a little moment for the show, so I've got to do that. I'm so stressed, oh my God. Mm. I'm trying to eat. First time I ate today, Eric's so sweet and got me food. So I just ate and it's almost four. Well, have lipstick everywhere. So yeah, Eric just got me food, which was super, super sweet. Man, a lot of people are like, how'd you lose your baby weight? Which by the way, don't say that to a pregnant woman or not a pregnant woman, a woman who had a baby because there should never be pressure on a woman to lose the weight after she literally made a human in her body and then pushed it out or had it surgically removed from her body like that is insane and the coolest most magical truly like insane wonderful powerful thing in the world so the fact that a woman can do that and then people go like oh how'd you lose the weight or you need to lose the weight or you need to get when are you going to get that body back how much did you gain like stuff like that like oh it makes me really upset but anyway <laughs> Um, I have lost a lot of weight in the last couple of weeks just from stress from working on the show and everything going on but good stress like I'm not upset or stressed like sad or freaked out I'm like really happy and really excited but I've been so busy that like eating is like the bottom priority for me so like I'll be working my booty off all day long and then I'll be like oh shoot I need to eat something and like I'll grab something quick like a banana or like a cupcake, <laughs> which is healthy. Um, so me losing this weight has not been healthy. So um, it's frustrating to me when people now are like, oh, you, you got so skinny, that snap back. Like, um, I know people are just trying to be nice, but like, I don't think it's fair when like, the how I lost it in the last few weeks it has been extremely unhealthy like it's been because i've been so stressed and have not been eating good meals and like have not been working out when there's women who have a baby and they are working out every day and eating really really well and their body type is just different and so it's harder for them to lose what they had gained or just lose in general and like they're not like praised i guess for that as much as like a girl who just get skinny even if it's in an unhealthy way why am i going on this tangent um the point is i've lost a lot of weight not being but not by being healthy but by like literally being too stressed and too busy to eat um, which is not good um so hopefully once this first show in pomona is over um i'll get back to being somewhat of a normal person but yeah eric the point is eric just got me this fish sandwich that i love it's like a fried fish sandwich it's huge like a burger because he's like you need to eat and so he just went out and got it and brought it back he's like here because he knew i would stop and sit and eat that thing and i did and it was so good um he's the best ever truly like okay i need to be filming right now but i'm gonna go on a quick little rant a good rant about eric and then i'm gonna film keep filming um stuff for the show but eric like i'm not kidding you every single day he does something that makes me go wow i do not deserve this guy like truly truly like he's so patient with me he's so supportive of me like my netflix special is coming out in a few days and i'm really nervous about it because 
I don't want people to think like if I don't if people watch it I don't want people to think like this girl thinks she's a stand-up comedian because I don't think that it's not a stand-up comedy show It's like a really weird <laughs> Variety Miranda show. like it's weird. It's not like I don't think I'm a stand-up comedian It's like a weird show for fans like it's not for a random Joe Schmo It's like for my fans and so I'm really nervous for it to come out on Netflix because I'm nervous people are gonna watch it and be like this is stupid she's not funny because Miranda is like very specific type of humor and like my fans like it and like I think you guys will enjoy it and like really like it or people who've never seen Miranda but like that type of comedy like but I'm afraid people are gonna watch it and be like this dumb youtuber is trying to be a comedian and she's not a comedian I don't know it freaks me out so I was really stressed and nervous about it and like Eric was just like I mean he was so sweet last night he was like no you be proud of it. You're incredible. Do you know how incredible you are? Do you know how amazing this is? You have a Netflix special, Colleen. You need to be so proud of it. You need to post out that thing and you need to post it everywhere. And you need to tell everyone, I am so proud of you. You should be so proud of yourself. You're incredible. Like he like, went on this long speech last night to me in bed at like one in the morning as I was like stressing about it. And he was just like going on and on so long about like how incredible he thinks I am. And I was just like, how? are you a real person and then today he's been like what do you need help with what what can i do and like he's just been like that this whole like past couple of weeks like the most literally the most supportive partner friend husband human i could imagine and like i don't know i just feel like there's been so many moments where i'm like i do not deserve you like oh my god he's just he's the best so oh, man i love him um, so anyway, I can't wait till the show is The first show is under my belt because then I'll have more time like I have barely spent time with him Like in the last few weeks I've been so busy and he's just been so patient and understanding and like uh, Anyway, oh, there's a bug. Okay, I'm gonna go film a video. Goodbye. I I'm literally going to drown in work. I swear to God <laughs> I love my job. I love what I do. I feel so lucky that I get to do what I love every day and like That my job is so fun, but like Oh my god, the amount of stuff I have to do, like between filming everything and editing everything and making all the props and making all the costumes and then dealing with brand deals and my, you know, questions and requests from agents and press and like my Netflix special coming out and like also being a mom and like spending time with Glenn because that's like the number one thing for me and most important and feeding him because I exclusively breastfeed so he, um, you know, eats from me every two hours and he loves me very much and I love him very much so he's needy with me and like if I don't hang out with him often he gets really sad so juggling all that stuff is just crazy and like I love it I wouldn't have it any other way but it's just like holy smokes it's a lot to do um this isn't me complaining this is me saying like I feel really lucky that I get to do all this but like oh my goodness there's a lot going on okay so I need to put on makeup not like this so that I can film a brand deal really fast and um, then I have to, wait, I have to answer. Okay, you know, I've gotta go, goodbye. Oh my gosh, okay, it's much later in the day. We just put Flynn down to sleep and I just got a package and oh my God, I'm gonna cry, guys. <laughs> so um, a while ago on a video, I talked about how Flynn loves this like cartoon elephant that we named Eduardo. Um, and when he had colic, it was the only thing that would make him stop crying. And in the video, I was like, if anyone knows where I can get a stuffed animal version of this, please tell me, cause I need it for Flynn. And a few of you sent me some to my PO box that you handmade, like hand knitted, um, made with like felt and you sewed stuff together. Like there, I got so many cute little Eduardos. Um, and I just got one from this amazing, amazing guy. Um, look. <laughs> And this stuffed animal of Eduardo. Okay, so this is amazing. Um, so my friend Anthony, who's been watching my videos for like literally almost 10 years, um, had this made by a company called Budsies. Um, he designed it and he drew this. He like designed and said like exactly where things need to go and like, um, and then they made this. And actually they made a double of the one that he designed and sent me the other one too. Um, so they, the company even loved his design so much that they decided to make a second one and send it to me. Um, sorry, it's not focusing on my face, which is kind of obnoxious, but, um, I guess my face is kind of busted right now anyway. So who cares? But anyway, um, this is so cute and we showed it to Flynn 
and he lost his mind. Now, obviously I don't want to edit this video. Like I said earlier, oh my gosh, the, the fact that it won't focus on my face is really frustrating. Um, but I'm going to show you pictures of when uh, Flynn saw the stuffed animal because it's the cutest thing in the world. Literally, he lost his mind seeing that his best friend Eduardo came to life. So I have to show you these pictures. Okay, so here's Flynn seeing him for the first time. And then he got so excited. <laughs> and then he hugged him and smiled and he just hugged him and freaked out. So then we took Eduardo away just cause like we were playing with him and we went downstairs and we didn't take Eduardo downstairs with us. And then like a couple hours later, we brought Eduardo back down to see like if he would be excited and he did it all over again. So look, okay, so this is later. He sees him and just like freaks out and then hugs him and then just it was so smiley and still like i mean literally anytime he's sad or like upset in any way shape or form he sees eduardo he sees a stuffed animal and freaks out and smiles and giggles I told Anthony um, that this is one of the best things I've ever received. Like, I almost cried. I've had a really stressful couple of weeks. Um, and to see my son, like, so happy. Like, I've never seen him react to anything like that before. Like, he obviously gets happy when he sees me and Eric. But, like, to see him react to a stuffed animal. Like, he hasn't really cared about stuffed animals or blankets, like, at all. But to see, he like freaks out is so excited over this it's the sweetest like oh my gosh and to all the edward he loves all the eduardos you guys have made and sent to us but for some reason i don't know if this one's just so big or what but like he just freaks out the most with this one but all of them have been amazing i'll show you all of them um because i've gotten quite a few um but anthony also sent me he's from canada and so he sent me poutine because he knows how much I love poutine and these cookies, which are like my favorite cookies from when I lived in uh, Vancouver. Um, the best Canadian cookies ever. It's no applesauce, but hey, it's something. No, girl, I know what these are because I lived on these in Canada when I lived there. And then some maple syrup. Um, and he wrote me this really nice note. And he also gave me this. I don't know. Some of you have probably seen this on Instagram if you follow any of like the fan accounts, but... He drew, oh, first of all this, oh my gosh, which you guys will be seeing this very soon somewhere else, not just in this, but um, he drew me and Ariana from the Thank You Next music video. Um, and here's another one of us, which I love. This is actually how we started like talking because on this is me and Eric um, with Flynn on a bicycle. Um, so he actually, uh, this is, I saw these and then I started like messaging him. I was like, oh my gosh, you're so talented, I'm obsessed. And um, he's just the sweetest and um, I'm obsessed. And I just wanna say like, thank you to him and to everyone who has sent me an Eduardo or anything that has to do with Eduardo because it makes fun so happy. And in a time like right now where things are stressful and crazy, like the one thing that can always make me happy and always make me feel better is when Flynn is happy. And so to see him just smile and giggle and talk to something that isn't his parents was like such a cool experience and it was like i don't know you hear about like when you become a parent like you get to experience your kid um like experiencing firsts you know like his first food his first time at disneyland his first you know christmas is whatever and i got to this gave me the opportunity to see him like experience his first like happiness and, ex and um, obsession with like a toy or a stuffed animal um like a connection to a character if that makes sense like i have my blanket like i still love my blanket that i grew up with and i've slept with since i literally was a born and um like that was my thing and you know every kid has that you have like a stuffed animal or a pillow or something and he just didn't have anything he connected to or liked or cared about except for this drawing of eduardo so the fact that so many of you have brought it to life and then now we have this big one um and look it even says eduardo on the paw like are you freaking kidding me how cute is that um yeah i just love it so thank you anthony you're amazing and um thank you to everyone who sends me sweet presents and whatever um you guys are all just amazing i don't even understand how i'm so lucky like you guys are the best ever and yeah um i've just been in my office working on the new show and writing new songs and whatnot and oh my gosh it's like i can't believe i'm 
starting a new show and I'm so stressed, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm gonna mess up a million times on Sunday in Pomona because there's so much new stuff. I'm just gonna like forget lyrics and forget choreography and like forget jokes and oh well. Um, luckily I have the most supportive, wonderful fans in the world. So like even if I mess up on stage, I feel like the audience will be like really supportive and nice. So I hope, we'll see. Um, okay, I love you guys. This might be the last clip of this vlog. There might be more, I don't know. I'm, I'm a mess, but if it is the last clip, Goodbye. If it's not, I'll see you in a second. Oh man, I'm tired. It's almost one in the morning. We just ran the show. Um, I didn't film any of it, but I think I have some clips from a few days ago of us like just like prepping for the show. So maybe I'll throw those in here. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm every emotion. I'm like just a mess. Like mostly really nervous. Like I'm mostly just super nervous because there's so much new material. Like so much <laughs> that it's hard to remember everything. It's hard to remember all the lyrics and all the jokes and all the everything and a lot. So I'm really nervous. But hopefully it will be good. Um, I need to bedazzle some shoes. So I'm gonna do that tonight, and I'm gonna take a shower because I haven't taken a shower in a few days because I'm disgusting. And um, yeah, I love you guys. Sorry this vlog was not edited, but I really wanted to get something up and out there because I'm excited about my show, and I want to tell you guys why I've been gone from the internet. But hopefully once the show is up and running on Sunday, then I will be able to kind of come back to the internet. So that's the plan. I'm looking for sequins and for rhinestones. I gotta keep looking. Love you guys. I'll see you another day sometime. Okay, bye.